In this video, we're going to find the derivative of an exponential function with base e. It says find k prime of x if k of x is equal to e to the 2x cubed divided by 3x squared. So I can approach this problem in a couple different ways. I can use the quotient rule here, or I could bring this x squared into the numerator, make it x to the negative 2, and use the product rule. For me, I, pr I mean, I like the product rule best, so I'm probably going to just rewrite this as uh, k of x is equal to, and I could write that as 1 third x to the negative 2 e to the 2x cubed. Just so I can use the product rule, make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to say that u is equal to 1 third x to the negative 2, which makes u prime negative 2 thirds x to the negative third. I take that derivative, power rule. v is going to be e to the 2x cubed, and v prime, I got a chain rule here, so I'm going to take the derivative of the outside. Remember, the derivative of e to the x is itself. So the derivative of the outside, well, I'm just going to get the exact same thing that's written there times the derivative of the inside, which would be 2x cubed. So this is v prime is equal to, derivative of this would be 6x squared. So we'd end up with 6x squared being multiplied times, so 6x squared e to the 2x cubed. Now we can actually do the product rule and say that k prime of x is equal to u prime times v, so I get negative 2 over 3x cubed. That's this u prime part. Times uh, e to the 2x cubed. And then I'm going to have added to this would be 1 over 3x squared times I would get 6x squared e to the 2x cubed. Now if I go to simplify this a little farther, I could simplify the right side for sure, and that would be negative 2 over 3x cubed e to the 2x cubed. And then when I multiply here, I get 6x squared over 3x squared. 6x squared over 3x squared would just be plus 2e to the 2x cubed. So this would be the derivative of the above function. I could put e to the 2x cubed out front. Actually, I could go a little farther. Let's do that real quick. If I factor e to the 2x cubed out, I could write that as e to the 2x cubed. And then that would be negative 2 over 3x cubed would be left right here, plus 2. And that might be a little bit more simple version. 